Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today I'm back here with another one bringing to you a new video. This time we're going to be talking about 20 free TV channels that you can get on the Amazon Fire TV right now. We're talking about streaming apps that can give you free channels, TV shows, movies, local news, all the above. Let's go and get into it. So we're going to give you 20 items. This is the first one. You may already be familiar with the first four, so we're just going to go and throw those out there. So the first four apps that I have for you go by the names of Freevee, Pluto TV, Tubi TV, and Eximo Play. If you haven't heard of these, let's go and take a deep dive into these. All right, so this is Freevee. This is what you see once you launch the app. You get a preview window in the top right hand corner. You have a continue watching section. So if you've clicked on something, that's where your most recently watched stuff is going to show. Then you're presented with popular movies at the top. If you scroll to the right, you get a endless scroll. They have John Wick in here. You can also watch live TV channels, which is what this section is. If you scroll to the right, you'll get all your live TV channels. So that's where those live TV channels will show. And then down below, you got Freevee Originals. Then down below, you got new movies this month, comedy movies. And there's multiple different genres that you can check out on the left-hand side. And Pluto TV offers a very nice interface as well. They come with a TV guide that you can scroll down nicely and over to the right as well. If you just wanted to see what else additionally was on for the rest of the night, uh, it does only look like it shows maybe four hours of TV guide. So just keep that in mind. Also on the left hand side, there's different genres that you can pick from. So you got movies, entertainment, news, crime, reality, game shows. And if you are in here looking for sports, you can just go to the sports section and come down here. They got Fox Sports, CBS Sports, NFL Channel, MLB, PGA Tour, Pluto Sports. They have a lot of different sports channels in here you can check out on Pluto TV. And on the left hand side, don't forget about the on demand section that you can watch endless movies. And then on the left hand side as well, you can search and then you can also put this in kids mode, it looks like. And once again, this is a free ad supported service. So in exchange for you watching these ads, they will supply the service for you for free. And also just to confirm, I wanted to pull up Pluto FAQs. It does say here, this is available in the United States. It says here signing up for a free account is fast and easy. It says here you can use a free account to sync your profiles across multiple different devices. I pulled up Amazon Freebies information as well directly from Amazon.com. It says here Amazon Freebie is a free ad supported streaming service that allows you to stream premium movies and TV shows without purchasing a subscription. And the next app I got for you is Tubi. If you don't know, they offer a massive library of free movies and TV shows, and they also have a live TV tab as well. So at the very top, you'll see an all section, which has a combined section of movies, TV shows, and I believe some live TV channels in there. You can also sign up for an account, but you can also use this as a guest account as well if you don't want to sign up. At the very top here, they have different sections you have a movies tab which will give you all the movies that are on here you got black cinema you got sci-fi you got family movies they have a good variety of movies some old some new but they definitely have one of the biggest libraries of mixture of content and they also have live tv if you wanted to watch some of the series that come on on tubi and on the left hand side it does look like they offer a kid section a search and you can also search by network or Espanol if you wanted to. So that's definitely a plus. So this app is called Zumo Play. It used to be called Zumo or Eximo. I'm not exactly sure of the correct pronunciation of that, but we can call it Zumo or Eximo, either one. But this is the app. They recently added the NFL channel. I know a lot of the free apps, other free apps have already had the NFL Live channel, but you can check it out here. They had the draft on here the other day. Uh, it looks like they're showing some reruns of 2022 Eagles and Cowboys game. You can definitely check out a lot of sports channels in here. This is the live TV guide section. You can search by anything you like. If you scroll over to the right hand side, you can look at what's playing on just about all the way until about 24 hours, maybe 48 hours from now. But the list is still going as I'm clicking it. It's been about 24, 48 hours so far. They also have a free movie section. 
a lot of these free ad supported streaming apps do have a lot of content so definitely make sure you interchange some of these apps because you may find a movie on a different platform that you won't find on another also on the left hand side you have a search for tv shows and you have a search for networks so if you want to browse by network you can do it that way on zumo play and really quick i just wanted to show you this on tubi's website it does confirm right here free movies and tv fewer ads than cable no subscription required thousands of movies and tv shows always free and 100 percent legal once again that's just for a disclaimer for youtube just so i can prove that these are free 100 percent legal forms of streaming apps so definitely within the community guidelines so that's just a heads up also with zumo play this is their website does zumo play require a subscription it says here all zumo play channels and zumo powered applications are completely free to watch and stream from any device the next up i got for you is the travel channel go and i know what you may be thinking do they offer any content but i was actually surprised when i opened this app and they offered a lot of forms of content free ad supported content if we go to the left here and go to shows and we go to the right and we go up here instead of us being exclusively hovered over the travel channel at the very top let's go to the right and go to the discovery channel and there's multiple different networks in here like TLC HGTV Food Network and so forth so if we come down here, let's say we are a fan of Naked and Afraid, we click on Naked and Afraid, and you can search through here in a lot of these seasons. These are the newer seasons, season 15, season 14. So season 15, you'll notice that it has a key, and you can't get that one. But season 14, you can watch all of these completely for free, just in an ad-supported fashion. And it seems they have all the seasons. All right, and that's on the Discovery Channel. If I go to the right and go to TLC, let's go down. I know this is popular here. The 90 Day Fiance shows are very popular. So if we click on here and scroll down the latest shows, once again, the latest ones that came out maybe a month or two ago are not available because they have a key next to it in the bottom right hand corner. But you can catch up on all of that in a free ad supported fashion. So definitely. Uh, check out the travel channel is definitely a uh, hidden gem all right another hidden gem is sling tv they offer a service called sling tv free stream you'll notice that they offer a tv guide feel as well and a live tv section with a on-demand tv guide uh, so if you scroll down here these are all the channels that they have if you scroll to the right you can see what's playing once again you can see what's playing for it looks like about 24 48 hours as well it may even go beyond that but that's what i can see at first glance also sling tv does offer i believe about 210 plus free live tv channels that you can check out and then as far as movies and tv shows content goes you can click on on demand and this is where the movies tv shows and the kids section is so that's sling tv let's go and jump to the next one all right, so another great option is the Roku channel. If you're not aware of the Roku channel, they also offer a huge amount of live TV channels. So we got 350 live TV channels on the Roku channel, and they just recently started adding more and more and more. They started with about, I believe, 100 something, then they advanced to 200. Now they're up to 350. So that's definitely huge, and they'll probably just continue to add and add because for some reason, free ad supported. TV channels are taking the world by storm right now. So we got the Roku channel and they offer a lot of Roku originals that you can find on here. Uh, looks like Kevin Hart has a Roku original called Die Hart. And they have a live TV section that you can find right here. And it looks like they offer a TV guide experience as well if you wanted to look at the TV guide format or if you just wanted to click on each tile that offers live TV you can do it in that view as well um, also if you want to click on kids and family and then if you want to click on categories you can judge how you want to search for your content whether you're looking for comedies westerns horror news romance the list goes on the next free streaming app we have is popcorn flicks let's click on popcorn flicks 
They don't have a live TV section, but they do offer a good small selection of free movies and TV shows. A lot of these movies are going to be very, very outdated, unlike some of the other streaming platforms. But you may see some new titles. I know Stolen isn't that new, but it's one of the most relevant movies that I see on this platform. Also with the series, a very much outdated content, but it is something to watch if you wanted to check out something completely different from any of the other streaming platforms that I mentioned. Another great app is Peacock. If you're not aware, Peacock does offer hundreds of live TV channels. If we go down to the left here, you will see a section where it's called channels. You will also see a TV guide feel as well where you can swipe through all the channels if you click the down arrow and then scroll to the right you can see what's playing in the future but it looks like they only show two hours worth of a TV guide so you can't see what's playing on tomorrow or even five hours from now so if we click the back button and go back to the list here on the left hand side they have a sports section they have a WWE section a lot of this stuff is free unless it has a golden feather next to it which means it's a premium service and you have to pay monthly for that service they also offer TV shows, very relevant TV shows. You'll find the most relevant TV shows, which are the Peacock Originals. And in the movie section, you will see a lot of stuff that is free and a lot of stuff that is premium. I wish Peacock did a better job as far as sprinkling in what stuff is free and what stuff is premium. But they kind of just jumble it all up together. And that way you can't really decipher what's free and what's premium. So it's all kind of just jumbled up in one and you kind of have to filter out what's free and what's premium another great app is local now they have a very good sleek interface it's definitely user friendly in the top left hand corner they show a preview window on the right hand side they show the channels list and all you have to do is click on that channel list to see what you want to watch this interface also goes full screen. If you swipe up and down, it does cycle through all the channels. So you don't have to really go back to search through the guide to select the different channels. So I definitely like this interface and this app because they do offer that feature within here. So in local now, you don't also just get free movies and TVs and just regular live TV channels. You get your local news station. So you select your city once you open this app for the first time and then it gives you your local news channel so you can definitely tune to local now to find your local news they offer a good selection of movies old and new mixed in together also with the shows as well normally nine times out of the ten you normally get older shows much older shows than you do the movies i'm not exactly sure why that is but you do the channel list will be almost identical to a lot of these streaming services so definitely keep that in mind just know that some of these offer some different channels and some offer the same channel so you have to filter out which ones they offer some of them offer different ones some offer the same also another great place you can find great content very quickly movies and tv shows just click the alexa button on your fire stick remote and this menu comes up if you scroll to the right here and click on this button that says what should I watch if you click on what should I watch it immediately brings up a quick launch section so if you're having trouble finding something to watch just go up here to the top left click on free to me and then you can specify what's popular and what's trending at the very top just click on free to me popular and then just scroll down the list and try to find something very quickly to watch just notice you probably will see a lot more free V movies in here in case you're wondering what types of content will show in here. At the very top, if we scroll all the way to the right, you'll see that it does offer items from other streaming services. So you got HBO Max, you got NBC, you got Epics, you got Free V, Prime Video, Pluto TV, Stars, ABC, Apple TV, and the list goes on. So it is a short, compact list of content, but they definitely want you to find some content rather than search for content. So that's why the list is so small. I'm sure it will be much bigger if they wanted you to search and search and search for endless titles. 
So this is Hoopla. In case you're wondering what Hoopla is, it's linked to the library. So it's library based or student based. If you're a student, you can get this for free. Or if you have a library card, you can get this for free. All you need to do is plug in your local library barcode number and you can get access to free movies if you don't already have access to these movies. And then you can also get access to television shows as well. A lot of the television shows that I did see in here were from Acorn TV. And then also audiobooks. If you're a fan of audiobooks, they have a bunch of different free audiobooks that you can just click on, listen to in the background. If you wanted some type of free music, you can listen to some free music in there as well. And the user interface for the Hoopla website is much more user friendly and sleek versus the Fire TV app on the Fire Stick. So just keep that in mind. And also the application on your mobile phone will probably be much better than the Fire TV experience. So this is Plex. This is what the user experience looks like. I would put it up there with Tubi, Pluto TV, the Roku channel. The user experience is very nice. They've done a great job with the user experience. The TV guide definitely offers 24 hours, 48 hours plus of content that you can cycle through. The channel list is above 250 channels plus. You can also on the left hand side click on movies and TV shows if you wanted to. And these are the movies and TV shows that you can watch for free. And then also you have a discover section if you wanted to click on some of these items and see what they're going to be about like Fast 10 or Avatar or John Wick 4. If you click on some of these items, you can watch a trailer most of the time. You can add it to your playlist. You can see what the Rotten Tomatoes is. You can see who the cast is, extras, critic reviews, and so forth. For all the anime fans, this is Crunch for all the anime fans this is crunchy roll they do have a free service as well they do offer a premium subscription but for the free service they offer free ad supported streaming so this is just strictly tv shows and movies so this is strictly anime as well if you're not familiar with crunchy roll you can browse and you can browse based on action adventure comedy drama fantasy music romance and the list goes on and they have seasons and some seasons you can watch multiple episodes for free and then some seasons you have to pay for the additional episodes to experience the premium content so definitely keep that in mind with crunchy roll but it's definitely a great source if you are an anime fan and you want something additional to watch other than regular tv shows and movies all right so this is the cw they don't have a live tv section and they don't have a movie section but they do offer the TV shows here for free ad supported viewing. So if you click on some of these, like All American Flash, these are name brand titles. Most of these are on Netflix as well. Um, so if you wanted to watch some of these free and in an ad supported fashion, you can check out the CW and catch up on some of your latest shows. If I click on All American just to see what season they have on here, it looks like they have season five and doesn't look like they have all the episodes but they have some of the episodes so that's definitely a bummer and a downside to having cw if they don't have the full seasons why even start to watch it on that platform but you do have access to some forms of the episodes so if you were looking for those specific episodes you may find cw a great resource to check out for free at supported channels also another hidden gem youtube also offers a great selection of movies and tv shows if you click on movies and tv you'll see in here that you can pay for a lot of content but in here if you click on free with ads once you click on free with ads you can scroll to the right and see a long list of very relevant titles and movies and tv shows that you can check out all for free in ad supported fashion scroll down here they have different genres like comedy drama action and adventure Horror. and they've done better with the layout of this it used to look very bad as far as like trying to find content it was hard because they didn't have any categories and everything was just on one bar like this and you had to scroll to the right endlessly until you saw every item that you wanted to uh, potentially watch so and then at the very bottom here it looks like they have the the tv show section so if you scroll here these are the tv shows but that is at the very bottom under all the movies sections and that's under free with ads on the YouTube app. 
The next app I got for you is Film Rise. It comes with free movies and TV. Also, one of the things that, about this app, it doesn't offer any live TV channels, but they do offer a good variety of TV shows. And the TV show section is, once again, very outdated, but they do have some up-to-date relevant titles. And if I click on movies here, you'll notice some of these movies are new, some of these movies are old, and you'll see a good mixture in here. But nothing too new, um, but they definitely have new-ish movies and older movies that you can check out here. And I would say the user experience isn't terrible, but it's definitely not the best. But they definitely make do to provide you what they can here. So I do think Film Rise is one of those options where if you were having a hard time finding anything to watch on the other platforms, definitely try Film Rise and they may have something completely off the wall compared to what you're seeing on the other streaming platforms. And also for the last streaming app that I wanted to show you, it's definitely new to the Amazon Fire Stick. But if we search for it, go to the left, go to the find, click on search and come in here and type in music. And as I type in MUS, music videos comes up in the second search result. If I click on music videos and open this up, it should be the first search result. Click on it. All right, so if you're not aware, music videos is brand new on the Amazon Fire Stick. It's a part of the Fire TV channels that they are releasing on the Amazon Fire Stick. It offers a wide variety of options as far as of music to listen to. If we hover over the featured section, and go to the right here you'll see a wide variety of titles here so you got country if you click on country it immediately starts playing all the country songs that you're familiar with if we scroll down it'll show a list of different categories so you got tailgate party country chill woman in country if we click back if we click back and click on the rap game as well same thing it starts play it starts to play all the hottest music videos that are out right now. It's got hip hop icons, it's got Future, Mellow Hip Hop, Lil Baby, Turn Up, Atlanta Hip Hop, and the list goes on. And the interface is a little slow, it's a little laggy, but I will say since it's new, I'll give it a pass. But they definitely have plenty of genres in here. At the very top, you got pop, you got hip hop, you got R&B, you got country, you got Latin, rock, metal indie classical and global so you should be able to find something to watch here especially with the music videos you can just click on it and it'll play all the hottest stuff in the background with the music and the music video so you can't go wrong with that definitely keep this in mind these are all the free ad supported channels that you can get on the amazon fire stick definitely let me know which one is your favorite one let me know if i missed any in the comment section below i'll definitely probably bring a part two on a, an additional list onto this one as far as free streaming platforms that you can get on the amazon fire tv so definitely thank you so much for watching give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace